is there any work done by external force? In shear balance, we have four terms, input, output, work by external force, and energy production. Do we have work by external force in this problem? Yes? No? If you say yes, what is the work from what kind of force? Gravity force. Do we have gravity force here? Yes. Does it count as work? Should it be included? Yes. Why? Because I asked, right? <laughs> if you look into the direction here, force right now is acting along the direction of the flow. And the direction of the flow would be the same direction as the direction for the convection. Okay? So therefore, the force here would be in the same direction as the convection. We need to incorporate that term as work as well. So work work is normally force multiplied by velocity because it's come from work I mean works come from force dot with velocity okay force here is mg m supposed to be mass of what mass of the shell okay mass of the shell is just volume multiplied by density what is volume of the shell? 2 pi r, delta r, delta z. Okay? You have 2 pi r, delta r, which is the area highlighted, and multiplied by height, delta z. That's volume. Multiplied by density, you get mass. Multiplied by g, you get force. Okay? Once you get force, you multiply by velocity, then it turns to work. The velocity here is supposed to be in z direction. Is there any other external energy production? In this case, no. All right? Now, let me ask you this. If on the other hand, if water coming down is cold and I heat it up, so that means there will be heat flux supply on the surface of the pipe into the system, okay? In that case, does it count as the energy production? Suppose I have a pipe and I heat it up by providing the flux of heat. If I supply like that, do you need to incorporate the energy production term? We say yes. No? Don't know? How can we answer this question? First of all, energy production term means that you supply energy to the system by means of work rather than mechanical work, right? That we discussed earlier. Just like putting electricity in there, that's another, kind, another form of work rather than mechanical work. Do you understand that? That term, the energy production term, really means that you supply energy into the system by means of work that is not mechanical work. 
because mechanical work is already incorporated in terms of external force. Is it work? No. There's two kinds of energy transfer, heat and work. This is called heat. That's not work. So this term cannot be taken account as the energy production term. All right? This is considered as input term for heat transfer. Okay? Don't be confused. The other, the other thing that you need to consider is energy production term normally cause more energy into the whole system uniformly. That means every point in the system, every point in the shell itself must receive that external energy. But in here, it looks like energy or heat is transferred only at the interface. So this amount would be used as boundary condition instead in the balance. Okay? So in this, our case here, we do not have external energy production term. We have only three terms. Plug everything into the equation. Right. So once you set everything up into a shell balance, we can just draw 2 pi all over, divide the whole thing by delta r delta z. So the first term, once you divide by delta r delta z, delta z here will be dropped. Instead, you have denominator to be delta r. Okay. This term, delta R will be dropped, and you will have denominator to be delta Z. If you take a limit, the first term should give you minus differential of R E R. Second term, you still have R here. So R remains. The rest here, after taking a limit, it would be a differential of EZ by DZ. Last term, delta R, delta C, will be canceled out. You have R rho GVZ. Now, can I change partial differentiation here to total differentiation? Can I do that? Or if you want to keep it first because you're not sure about flux, then you can change flux into temperature later. Just this point, you can keep it as partial differential equation. Okay? 
So if I divide it by R, you get this equation. Then next step will be convert energy flux into temperature. Okay? ER should equal to QR plus 1 over 2 rho V square plus rho U, I'm sorry, rho H VR. Okay, the first term, QR, is conductive flux in R direction. That can be represented using Fourier law. All right, can I write it down as total differentiation here? Total differential of T by dr. Can I do that? In this case, no. Because we know from the picture, temperature does change with respect to R and change with respect to Z as well. So it must be kept as partial differentiation. Okay? What about this term? Can it be dropped? Yes, because VR is zero. Okay? Therefore, this term is dropped as well. How about here? Yes, it can be dropped. V zeta is zero. V Z is not. But tau R Z can be expanded using Newton law. Tau R Z is minus mu dVr by dz plus dvc by dr. Then vr becomes zero. So what we have left would be minus mu dvz by dr times vz. That's 